So last night I saw that Stay Safe posted this video. It was while I was uh, I was doing some editing. I have some very strong opinions about pre-made. So I was kind of curious what Stay Safe said. I feel like knowing Stay Safe, he is my coworker after all. Um, knowing Stay Safe, I have a feeling he's going to be very much against pre-mades, and I am very much pro pre-mades. So regardless of what Stay Safe says, regardless of what I say. Um, I like Stay Safe, first of all, and uh, I don't think that he's a demon, but uh, I will probably be going pretty hard against whatever he says because I just have a gut feeling that he's going to be pro premates and, or sorry, anti premates, and I am straight up not. Uh, but we'll talk about it. Let's see. Let's see what Stay Safe has to say about uh, premates and if they've gone too far. All right. So this is the number one thread on the Classic Well forums at the moment and we are back talking about the nature of pre-made bgs 10 man versus 10 man pre-made pre-made versus pug what is that dynamic like and i want to see this is the number one thread right now on the forums what is this guy saying i like to play warsong gold i think it's a fun battleground I solo queued many games over Warsong Weekend. And this last weekend was Warsong Weekend, so it makes sense. Okay. 24 Warsongs played this weekend. Wow, it's a lot of Warsong 13 Gold. 13 pre-mades of these 13 games I won, and three, and wait, hold up. 13 pre-mades of these 13 games, I won three, okay. and did not get to play the game in the other 10. Okay, yeah. 11 non-pre-mades that were all competitive fun games, I won 10. So basically what he's saying is three of these games were very competitive games and probably very hard to overcome and play. And he didn't get to play the other 10. I'm really curious what he thought about the quality of these three games that he won. I'm just curious. And I'm curious about the difficulty of those three games. I'm sure he doesn't mention it, but I would really like to know. I would really like to know. Out of the 11, he's a disc priest. Disc priests are really strong. Yeah, true. Okay. The current state of the battleground meta is unfortunate. I simply want to have competitive games where I can actually play the game. Okay. Approximately 42% of games were just awful with my team fighting. So again, saying this, I want to have, I simply want to have competitive games. Were these three games not very competitive for you? Because let's just be honest with ourselves for a second. There's no way that these 11 non-pre-made games were super all competitive and fun game. There's no way. It's a team-based game. How can you have a ton of fun with a bunch of disorganized nonsense going on? There's no way. Is it fun because you won or is it fun because you had a competitive game? I would really like to know what he thought about those three games that he played against pre-mates. To obtain and, won. and often failing a single honorable kill. 42% of his games they didn't even get a single honorable kill. That's rough because they're queuing into premates. Jeez. I do not want to decimate pug groups, so I choose not to premade. I hate this argument. I hate I hate, this is a very common argument when people talk about premades. I don't want to decimate pug groups, so I choose not to premade. I play with a lot of players that are very good at the game. I'm not saying that I'm very good at the game because I'm not. I, I get carried by these guys. There is nothing more boring in Warsong Gulch than continuously completely and utterly pub stomping people in a Warsong Gulch. The fun games are the pre-mades versus pre-mades where you actually need to have coordination and skill to win. And that's not all pre-mades that you go up against. Sometimes you will come across pre-mades where you fight mid, you wipe them mid, and it's just like a pug game where everyone is not in comms, random people queuing up solos, maybe in two stacks, three stacks, and they just get decimated. The fun games are when you get matched with a with pre-made versus pre-made, where you're both on the same skill level, you both play the game in similar ways and on a and on a similar competitive uh on a similar competitive ground. And I promise you, when you see those games, like if you go back and look at some of my videos of uh, the the one I did last weekend of of, uh, of war games, war games this past weekend. If you've never done a pre-made and actually fought another decent pre-made, you've probably never seen the game played that way. Unless you've watched maybe like, like a War Song Gold professional team play or something like that. I guarantee you, because those games don't really exist in the wild like that. They're so rare. And that is the most fun way to play the game because it's a team-based game and you are actually playing as a team in sort of the way that it was designed to be played. And the crux of my argument for not destroying pre-made groups is because 
Solo queuing and not playing as a coordinated team is not really the way a team-based game is meant to be played. It's not a team deathmatch. It's capture the flag. There's strategy. You need people attacking. You need people defending. And you need coordination to effectively win and play the game, even at a decent level. Inherently, Warsong Gulch is a team-based game. Why would you want to delete teams from a team-based game? That doesn't make sense. I will not participate in ruining other people's experience of the game. I'm extremely interested in pre-mades if I was sure I could play against other pre-mades. And listen here, it's an MMO, massively multiplayer role player game. It's not a single player game. It's not team deathmatch. It's not deathmatch. That's not, that's not the game mode that you're signing up for. I'm extremely interested in pre-mades if I was sure I could play against other pre-mades. They have this. It's called war games and we play them for hours and hours and hours and hours on end. And you have to you have to have 10 versus 10. You have to have 20 dedicated people together at the same time to make them happen. They're not exactly the easiest thing in the world to set up without having a fairly large community that wants to do that. And I'm sure if Blizzard added a 10 v 10 queue sign up that likely people would queue up to it, but I'm almost positive that the queue times would be absolutely atrocious, especially when you talk about around the end phase when people aren't really playing the game as much anymore, they're off playing other games. It'd be a horrendous queue time, probably. Mates, however, so he's saying if there was a pre-made versus pre-made queue specifically for- The threat about people living for 10 v 10 PVP doesn't make a lot of sense. That's spoken like someone who's never been in a pre-made versus pre-made at a very high level because it's a completely different game. 10 men pre-mates, he would love to do it, but he doesn't want to do the pre-made thing because there's people that, uh, that, are, that are, yeah, uh, that are not, that don't have the means with which to do so. The threat about people living in 10v10 PVP doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So when Agrind, who's the, I think, lead developer for the Classic Project, was approached with the idea that, hey, maybe we should do something about the 10 man pre-made thing, it's getting a little bit out of control. Yeah. His response was, well, some people love 10 men premades. Some yeah. people live for 10 men premades. Some people only play the game for 10 men premades. And yeah. so it would feel bad to, to shut down the 10 man premade thing or to put the 10 men premades in their own queue system because that might ruin their experience. Well, they, we, we do have our own queue system. We have war games. Some people don't even know this exists. You can take two teams of 10 and 10 and go into a private war song gulch against each other. You don't get honor. You don't get rep. It's literally just playing Warsong Gulch 10v10 for fun. That game mode exists. I don't think that's a strong argument. Personally, I don't agree with him. Here's the thing too. What makes you say that your version, your way to play a team-based game, by the way, is better than somebody else's? That's like me saying that when we're raiding, you have to min max. You have to, and you have no other choice. You're not, you are not allowed to go make your own group queue your own ways. You have to come play raids with me how I want you to play them. That is not an argument that the casual person wants to hear. And just because the casual person is making that argument to, I would say, more hardcore PVPers, suddenly they think that's okay. It's like the same argument. It's the same argument with men maxers. I get it all the time on my YouTube channel, man. People say, why don't you just shut up and play the, play the way the game is meant to be played? Why are you men maxing everything? Because I want to play the game that way. Just because you don't like to play the game that way doesn't mean that I don't get to play the game the way that I want to play it. And just like I would never tell you that you have to play the game the way that you that you want to play it. Tim, I think that's a bad take, but that is the take that he gave. I think that there are, let me put it this way. If you're a game developer, if you're a classic mode developer and you're trying to maximize player happiness, what is better? To have 10-man premates relegated to their own 10-man queue or to allow 10-man premates to shit stomp every single pug. I think more people will be happier, and I would spec, I would guess, way more people would be happier if 10-man premades were not part of the dynamic, right? And my proposed solution, this is, this. I think this would be a very, very good, fair middle. More people would be happier playing a game if it wasn't team-based. Don't play Warsong Gulch. It's a team-based game mode. As a team, why are you punishing teams of players that want to play as a team in a team-based game mode. That doesn't make any sense. His mouse is really tripping me out. I keep thinking that it's my mouse. Boop, we are one. Middle ground would be to cap premades at five people. If you want to premade with four of your friends, five people total, one plus four is five, then you can queue as, as a five man. Because that means if you're a pug player, if I'm a solo player, 
the rate at which I have a five-man premium on my team is the same rate at which I have a five-man premium against my team. Okay? And then then you have a little bit of a chance. Then you Um actually a decent argument. Um I don't know if I would say that people shouldn't be able to queue as a 10-man team, but certainly five would be a decent compromise. And, and that, that's a good point. As a solo player, I have just the same amount of odds as you having a five-man group as the other team also having a five-man group. That makes sense. I feel like that's more fair to solo players. But on the other hand, it limits what Warsong Gulch as a team-based game could be, okay? Because the 10v10 is is just a complete, if you've never experienced a, a true 10v10 before, it's a completely different Warsong Gulch experience. It's a completely different game. And by limiting it to 5v5 max, or, or a five-man pre-made, you're literally taking away an entire way that the game is played that people that solo queue don't even know exist. They have no idea. I guarantee you 90% of players don't understand the push to roof and prepping someone outside of, uh, of the flag area to catch the flag carrier before they leave so that you can kill them and then, re and then reset to try to do it again. I bet 90% of players have never played that version of the game and that's what exists at the highest level meta the actual way to play warsong gulch the very competitive way to play warsong gulch you're taking that out because people who are playing a multi a massively multiplayer game online don't want to play that way what if what if i said the exact opposite what if i said well hey as 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 a pre-made tin man you know i'm i'm tired of these solo players solo queuing up in in our games and you know when we're, we want we want to play a competitive match we're playing against a bunch of random people that are walking around like chickens with their heads cut off it's a team-based game why don't you make solo queuers non-existent anymore because you know we don't want completely terrible games with with no competitive value whatsoever we need them to at least have two players so that they can at least be semi-competitive against I guess a 10-man team. Well, surely you wouldn't want it that way. So why do you want it the other way around with, with big teams? It doesn't make any sense to me. You actually can have a back and forth. I, I would prefer that. I actually, I know you're not going to believe this if you're listening in on YouTube or Twitch or whatever, but I actually solo queue all the time. I, re I really do. I, in fact, I solo queue al almost all of the time. I very rarely am queuing BGs. And this guy's complaint about getting stomped by pre-mades it's like uh it's it's pretty bad it's a lot it's a lot it's it's rough and so i, I know i know the answer is oh well you just need to pre-made sometimes you just want to like queue a low-key bg by yourself sometimes sometimes you just want to be able to pvp and do and do a battleground without having a grand ordeal of a social experience like without hopping in a discord channel and and, and joining a group and trying to find a but you are playing a massively multiplayer online RPG game in a team game. And then mad that you're losing because you're solo queuing in a team-based game of capture the flag. What are you saying? If you want your solo experience, go world PVP. And if you want an instant solo experience, why doesn't Blizzard instead make a team deathmatch or a deathmatch version of the game where you're slung in and you know what you do? You don't play an objective. You kill the enemy team. Maybe maybe there's a maybe there's a kill confirm type game mode or like a, a kill count type game mode where you eliminate X amount of enemy players on, on the enemy's team. Why why not that? Why not that instead of limiting how a team-based game is played with teams? That doesn't make any sense to me. Make an instance PvP battleground for players that wanna go solo queue. How about that? A group, and then and then the group you found is already in a game, and you have to wait seven minutes for them to get out. So you're waiting there for them to get out, so you can join. It's like so, oh yeah, I just, I just want to queue sometimes, right? I just want to be able to play sometimes. Sure. So I think I think I think putting it at five people would be would be pretty good. I think it's a really good middle ground. I think so. Now, um, so he said, I, I would hate I would hate it, but if it's abolish pre maids or take five only. It's better than being forced to queue as like as like solo or like not having a place to play as 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 like a potential ten man because you could still queue two five mans and kind of hope that you guys time the queue right so where you can and people do this with AV right like you say okay well like what queue did you get what battleground did you queue into and th there's there's ways around it to actually get the ten man so I mean I think five v five is is okay but it's making moves from a massively multiplayer mmorpg to like to a lot of what the criticism is for modern day retail which is like people feeling isolated not feeling a part of a giant world part of that comes from running into a team of 10 people who are highly coordinated and be like man we just got our dick stomped and maybe instead of saying oh well, i just got destroyed and that wasn't fun maybe you say i, w I would like to i would like to go try to form a team and, and and so i can win some games
And then maybe you come across a good group of guys who you enjoyed playing those games with. You want to hang out with more and maybe you join their guild, you join their discord. And now you, now you have a group of friends and maybe that group of friends while you're playing, like you, you fight another 10 man and, and, and you have a really competitive game and you think, well, oh, wow, I've never played Warsong Gulch like that. That was, that was a lot of fun. I want to, I want to play more of those games. That's how that can develop for a lot of people. It's surely how it developed for me. That's how I met some of the YouTube guys and some of the Twitch guys that I play with now. It's been a great experience. And I came from not playing Warsong Gulch at all. And now, now I play it all the time and I'm not even getting rewards from it. I'm just queuing with a bunch of guys that are really good at the game and want to have competitive games together. And I think by chopping off and saying 10 mans don't have a place here, you're, you're really ruining that experience that a lot of people could have. They just don't understand that it's there. They don't bother trying. Says the threat about people living for 10 versus 10 PvP doesn't make a lot of sense to me, Ta re re referring to Egrin, what he said on Twitter. The current state of the battleground does not encourage 10 versus 10, but 10 versus Pug. To be fair, I have no data on pre-made versus Pug ratio. I'm basing this on the other posts here. So this point is exactly true. People right now... Uh, not really. You're more incentivized to... Technically, you're incentivized to grind Ash and Veil and Lair Hop as much as you can until you can get to um, revered and then yeah I mean if you're grind if you're grinding rep you want to grind rep until until exalted now do not make 10 man premades because they want an awesome legendary 10 versus 10 premade versus premade PvP experience the reason why you premade right now in worse on Gulch is because you're trying to maximize your honor or your rep per hour that's why people premade Okay, that's not true. And ha having ten people—that's not true for everyone. Advantage certainly. over people that don't have ten people, over groups that don't have ten people. So uh, prove that. So one way I know that this is true is because whenever they add a designated ten-man pre-made bracket, the bracket is dead. That's how I know. If there's ever a ten-man, have they ever added an exclusive ten-man PvP bracket before? Pre-made bracket where where the ten-man pre-mades are relegated to their own queue system to their own brackets. People don't queue it anymore. Sorry, Sue, I can't get the Wi-Fi. No one can. We got rid of cable internet, rising price. No one queues. And it's because people aren't looking for the epic PvP situation. They're looking to, to dunk out on noobs. They're looking to dunk on noobs for the most optimal rates per hour. That's why they do it. A separate pre-made queue would engage... I will definitely say that's definitely true for some people. That's definitely probably true for some people. Again, I've never seen it in a game that I've played. Or maybe I have and I just didn't notice. But for the most part, most most of the 10v10 games I have, are pe people go hard. They're, they're not rolling over to try to make sure their honor per hour isn't decreasing. Like It's not like it was back in 2019 when people were doing their honor grind to rank to rank 14 and they were trying to just get honor per hour it's it's really not like that it's actually more efficient to just grind ashen veil until revered and then the exalted grind is a slog no matter what i don't i don't i don't agree with his point here and i don't think he's giving us evidence to to back it up either i think it's i think he's just pulling it from nowhere it would, enc would encourage 10 versus 10 since you're guaranteed to play against 10. it sure would but once again, what we will find and what we have found in the past when this has happened is that people aren't looking for the 10 versus 10 experience. They're looking for the most optimal rep or honor experience, which happens to be queuing as 10. That's why people do it, not because they want the epic PvP. They want the epic rates, the epic uh, rates per hour. It is disingenuous. I don't actually think many of the people pre right now enjoy playing Wars on Gulch, but are only doing it to farm reputation, honor, or honorable kills. I think this is totally true. I think you're spot on. I think you're spot on. Now he says, I hope the developers do something soon because it is clearly a problematic feature in SOD that is discouraging many players from queuing up. Yeah, I think I think I think what happens is that over time, if every time I don't think that's true. Cause like once you are level 25 and you've been level 25 for let's say like five raid lockouts, that's like what, like two and a half weeks? Maybe, maybe, maybe let's say six lockouts. That's 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 about three weeks, right? Um what is there to do in the game after you have a certain amount of gear like and you've done your professions and like you've unlocked your runes and all that kind of stuff like what else is there to do the end game right now is pvp i think people do enjoy warsong gulch i think people do enjoy the 10 v10s i think people do enjoy the instance queue into pvp i don't think everyone is doing honor and rep farms i i mean i just i just talked about it there's a discord that i'm in from the nines warsong gulch warsong gulch tour
This is for serious PvPers on Crusader Strike. There's about 800 people in this Discord that just want to do very serious PvP. There's streamers like Sanj, there's streamers like Yesmaster who have constantly 200, 300 concurrent viewers just doing competitive Warsong Gulch games every single night. People do live for the 10v10 PvP meta. People like it. It is fun. Sure, there are some people that want to maximize their honor on rep per hour and, and, and they use it disingenuously, but people are out there for 10v10 PvP. It's not... It's not some unicorn. It does it doesn't not exist. Time you solo queue, or let's say you won't, let's say you only have one or two friends. Let's say you don't have nine friends. Let's say you have one or two friends and you want to queue a BG and you queue up. You you can you can only get stomped by pre-maids so many times before you just say, okay, you know what, I'm not gonna queue anymore. And so I, I actually think that letting the pre-made meta uh, fester for so long, I think it actually does kill the PvP scene. I I, I genuinely think it does. I think that having I don't think five it does. man queue. I don't think it does. How can you expect to queue into a team-based game where there's zero communication, um, no one knows what's going on and what to do, um, and expect to win? You you can't. You can't. The the solution is not removing pre-mates. It's creating a PvP instance environment where solo queue players can solo queue and win in some way. And I think that's in a team deathmatch or a deathmatch type game mode. Queues would be way, way, way more and way, way more, um, it, it, it would help embrace more casual solo queue players. I think it would be way better for long, for the longevity of SOD PVP if you did not have the 10 man queue dynamic. They won't do it because trash players need a competitive advantage. So devs think pre-made versus pugs is fine and players will defend it. So in this post, he's saying that trash players are the people that are pre-made. I mean, hey, if you want to have the best rates per hour, what do you do right now? You're pre-made. I, 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 don't, I don't think you can fault anyone for pre-mating right now, considering it is the best thing to do if you want honor or rep, and it is allowed. It's not. The best thing that you can do for your reputation. Okay, so actually the maximum um, rep per hour, the best way to do it is doing um, is doing Warsong Gulch pre-mades, but Ashenvale is still very good rep and way more afk -y. Like you only have to log in and go to Ashenvale every two, every like two hours for like 10 minutes versus being in a Warsong Gulch team around the clock to grind rep. Ashenvale is definitely the easier way to grind rep. You can't be mad at anyone that currently does it. That being said, you can also advocate for Blizzard to change the system, <laughs> right? You can say, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at people that are engaging in the system right now because it is the nature of the system, but I want them to change the system. I think that's a totally fair take and that's my take and I think a lot of smart people have that take. I wish that they would do that. But that's kind of the update on the 10-man PvP pre-made situation right now. It seems like a lot of, like this is one of the most, the most hotly debated, most often brought up discussions on the classic forum and also on classic Reddit. I see people talking about it in various classic web Discord servers as well. This is a hot button topic. And the fact that they're like, oh, well, you know, I don't know. We're just not going to do anything. I think that's a mistake. I really, really do think that's a mistake. Season of Discovery has been sold as this sort of casual, low-key experience. You don't need to invest a lot of time to be successful. It's a casual thing for people that don't have 20 hours a day to play. Okay, that's fine. That's great. Then... Before he says what he's going to say, that's still true. In Ashenville, you can grind just as much experience in 10 minutes that requires an hour of Warsong Gulch gameplay. An hour of Warsong Gulch gameplay. You can get that in 10 minutes in Ashenvale. That's not an exaggeration. You can do the math. Why are we facilitating the 10-man sweaty PvP meta? If the, if, if the point of SOD is to be casual design... They aren't. You can log on. You can log into Ashenvale right now, win Ashenvale, tag every single boss, and come out of Ashenvale with 800 rep. And you can do that every two hours, and it takes 10 minutes. Or... You can organize a team of 10 players. You can go into Warsong Gulch. You can spend 10 minutes in each game playing Warsong Gulch, and you can get about 150 rep every 10 minutes. Or you can log into Ashenvale every two hours, walk out with 800 rep every two hours for 10 minutes of gameplay. You tell me what you would rather do. Fine for casual, low interaction players, then why do we have the 10-man PvP meta? It just doesn't seem in sync 
with what we've been told is the purpose of Season of Discovery by the developers themselves. It seems like they're saying one thing and then kind of doing another thing in this specific case. But I want you to let me know how you feel about it. Please drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe. Come find me on Twitch. My link is in the bio. Boys, check out Stay Safe. I don't not like Stay Safe. I just don't agree with his take on this. I think that pre-mades are fine. They should exist. It's a team-based game. You guys have heard what I have to say. Noth again, nothing against Stay Safe. I like Stay Safe. I just don't agree with them. And I'm allowed to do that. I'm allowed to disagree with someone and still like somebody.